Um, Heato Tume translates as the village to the side or the inland village. It was a place where our family lived for a period of about 10 years. Our grandfather, Machpewi Chashta, or Cloud Man, lived there with his wife, Champa Dutuwi, Chokcheri woman, and a community of people. You know, it, it, it lasts throughout the 1820s. And it was a community that began because um, our family was, was searching for an, a way to survive this changing world around us. And our people had traditionally always had gardens. Uh, we'd had corn since at least the 1600s. But they were smaller scale. They were to, to, to serve smaller groups of people. Um, our people moved with the seasons, and so we didn't have plots that we tended to, um, that we seeded um, on a regular basis at the same places all of the time. It was a lot smaller scale. We didn't, we didn't plow the land, for instance. And so this new way of farming was really um, adapting to Western agriculture in a lot of ways. And the issue with that is that over time, historians have written that our, our, our family members that started farming were assimilating to white culture. And that's what they told people at the time. Um, that was an, an agenda for sure. But I think looking at our, our relatives who, <clears throat> looking at our relatives to understand why they took up this other way of living, we have to understand their situation that they were in. And also understand that as human beings, we always evolve. And they saw it as a way of adapting to a changing world. And as a great leader, he wasn't afraid to try new things. Um, and the Cheato Tume community survived. They not only fed themselves, but they fed all the, sur the surrounding communities. Um, the community started with about eight people. And by the end, I think there was something like 207, 210 people, 81 of them children. And so it was a community of, of mainly children and of family members who, who um, continued to hunt and fish, but who also planted and shared the crops with neighboring families. One of the, one of the values that I'm struck by most and I think about most when I think about Heato Tume is generosity. Um, when I think about the ways in which our family story has been written about there, white historians primarily have written about it as a failed experiment, is what they call it. And I try to understand why they would, they would say that about that place. Um, and I came to find out in my research that they saw it as a failure because our family members didn't store food over the winter. They shared their crops with neighboring communities, and documentation shows us that the neighboring communities survived and, and they didn't starve. Our communities, there was no, no, um, no starvation during that time period.